Today we're going to learn how to draw in 3D. I'm a 30-year animation artist that still loves to draw and teach. One day my twin girls came to me and said, Teach us how to draw. Join Emma and Ellie and myself for Drawing, drawing with, with Tom Bancroft and, and the Twins. twins. So girls, welcome back to episode two. Yeah. Okay. We had some fun last time, right? We did. Okay. We're learning. And you are learning. So uh, I love seeing that. So, and hopefully at home you guys are practicing and doing all these things with us too. Last episode we learned about sketching. And so today we're going to talk about how to draw in 3D, how to think in 3D to be able to draw in 3D. Um, but first I want to introduce our sponsor, which is Wacom. So Wacom, thank you, is the maker of this, which is right here. Uh, this is the Wacom One. Pretty nice piece of equipment, right? Usually about high school on up is when you want to start maybe buying something like this. And that's it right there. And what it is is a digital drawing uh, surface, much like a tablet, like an iPad or something. This one does plug into the computer, so I have Photoshop running in my computer so I can draw. And that's what's nice about it that makes it more professional is that you can draw with Photoshop. This is a more professional kind of a uh, software. Um, but anyway, thank you, Wacom, for sponsoring this. Now, I want you to know, kids at home or, or whoever's watching this, that that's why you guys are drawing pencil and paper is that that's, this is really the heart of what I'm teaching, which is just drawing principles. You can do it digitally. You can do it with pencil and paper. And they're, of course, doing pencil and paper. So don't feel like you have to have a, a, a Cintiq or something like that, this Wacom one, to be able to, to uh, you know, to draw and do a good job. I'm going to do it because it'll be a lot easier to show later on uh, my examples because I can screen capture. But you guys are going to be drawing pencil and paper. So, so today, okay, are you guys ready? Um, so I have here uh, a nice little uh, light, still life, and that's what we call that. And so I've just put a pepper and a, and a little uh, coffee creamer uh, jar there. And why I, put, I chose those is they're different heights. They're a little bit different thicknesses. Um, and really what I want to see is how you guys can capture that and, and think about it dimensionally. Not draw it as super flat, just lines. Because remember we learned about that last episode. Is that we don't draw just lines. We draw shapes with lines. It's, it's a, kind of a Zen thing. It's how you think about it. Um, so, the first point I want to make is that when you're drawing something like this, a still life, or even later on in life, if you're in a, say, a figure drawing class, where you're drawing a nude. <laughs> okay, what? No, hopefully not. Uh, but like a, a, a figure, right? Or if you go to the park or the mall and you're drawing your friends or whatever, how do I want you to look at things from here on out as an artist? Ready? is positive and negative shapes. So this is the concept. The positive shape is these two things, right? You could say the table is too. That'd be, that's kind of your ground plane, your horizon line. Uh, if we get into perspective more, you'll, you'll learn more about horizon lines. But in general, you're gonna see this flat plane, which is the table, and you're gonna see these two objects. And the positive are the objects themselves. And you could say the lines, but if you were to darken them in, once you make the lines and darken it in, it would be this shape and this shape. Now the negative shape, and this is the concept that we don't normally think about, is all the space around it. So that when, when I see the inside of that hoop in, in the creamer here, I can see how big it is, right? And I can see, now what is the distance between these two shapes? And that's really the way I want you to start thinking. What is the, what is the sort of the oval shape here on the top? Um, and what does the oval look like here? And does it, you know, obviously it kind of comes out in a spout. You're starting to notice all of those things and being able to kind of now, now compare them to each other. So that how do I get that creamer height is I'm going to look at the, the salt shaker and I'm going to, okay, if I draw the salt, salt shaper first, now I can now know how tall to make the creamer or vice versa. What would you start with, Emma, if you started drawing that? Where do you think you would start? Um, with the creamer thing. Probably. Okay. Is that what you were thinking, Ellie? No, I was going to go with the salt. Okay. It's funny. There's no wrong answer. So you could start with either one, obviously. But now I want you to, okay, now take in another concept, which is looking for the positive and negative shape there and now translating it here on your page. So 
uh, if you're looking at this and you want it to be a nice piece of art that maybe you give to your parents or frame it later on or whatever, the most important thing, like normally you want to kind of put it right in the middle of the page, right? You don't want it off here. You, want to, you don't want it tiny. You kind of want it proportionately about, you know, nice size in there and so that it looks like it's ready to frame. In general, we try and do that as artists. Maybe not in your sketch, but, but at least on a canvas. And so that's another little sub uh, test I'm gonna give you is like, can you try and make it proportionate and make it, make it about the size you see it here, about that size here? And that's a whole nother level of tough. So I'm asking you to draw dimensionally and also kind of try and put it about here. So what I would say is you wanna kind of start with all right, if you are starting with the salt, is that what you said? No, you said you were going to start with the salt. <laughs> then I'm going to look at, okay, okay, where do I want to put that point if I'm going to start at the top? Okay, probably right about maybe here, right? I want to have a little air on the top of the page, and I want to be able to draw kind of down from the top. Or I start at the bottom, and I draw up from there. You, there's not really a wrong answer, and kind of it's all artists are different that way. So... I'm not even going to tell you how to start this drawing, but it'll be interesting for me to see and, and then to see what we end up with. So that's, cool. that's the big concepts is trying to get those two things to be proportionate to each other to get the right perspective so that it doesn't look like they're both sort of flat. Uh, so we're doing an above like look on it since we're taller than them? Well, you're going to do exactly what you see. Okay. So uh, it is going to be, yes, a little. you're a little bit above it. So it is kind of a down shot on, okay. on this, uh, on your still life. A bird's eye view. A bird's eye view. Good job. Okay. A little bird sitting. You guys are teaching the class already. I know. <laughs> All right. So why don't you get, <laughs> why don't you guys get started and uh, okay. we'll get some shots of you guys drawing. Okay. I want to see what you do. Off to a good start. <laughs> I'm so scared. Are you guys having fun? Mine looks like a bird. Now remember what we talked about sketching is, is like, you know, oh. don't make it too precious. Like, and, and you shouldn't have to erase a whole lot. Just just keep kind of finding the space and the line. Um, you understand what I'm doing with this here? <laughs> How am I doing, Dad? I think you're doing great. Thanks. Now, now, you guys, I mean, hopefully the people at home, don't, they may not know this, but like, Emma and Ellie are very new at this. So this is... We are not artists. They're not artists. This is, that's why we're doing this. You guys really want it. You came to me and said, hey, we want to learn. We have some time right now. And so this is our very first time going through these kind of concepts. So tell me about your guys' art training so far. Um, I wouldn't say we have any. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever, like, drew, draw something, like, when I don't, didn't need to for, like, a project or something. Yeah. But, like, a project, you mean, like, so you've had an art class in high school? Um, yeah, Emma I did. I did not. I took theater. Oh, okay. I took a year of art. And let's be honest, you helped me with a little bit of it. <laughs> I don't remember that. Did I do your assignments? Yes. Uh-oh. Okay, well, girls, how was that? <laughs> it's hard. It's a lot harder than I thought it was. Yeah, so, I mean, to be clear, you guys have had very little art training. And uh, just, Emma, you had a high school art class, but Ellie, you didn't. Um, and so this is really the, the beginning. I think many of the people watching this are gonna feel the same way, like if you haven't had a lot of art training. So what was the challenges? What did you kind of find hard? For me, it was like the heights, like finding the, like actual, I was just drawing like a creamer and then I was drawing yeah. a salt shaker so mm -hmm. it was putting it together and that making sure the distance was right distance was right and so it sounded like you kind of thought of them as two separate pieces yeah okay and but I, I would know i'm doing it wrong and then like yeah 
by this argument. And it's hard when you got part of it right. Like, like oh, I like how that salt shake, shaker is looking. You don't want to have to erase that yeah. later when you start doing the creamer and going, oh, wait, I just discovered now I probably did something wrong in that salt shaker. You don't want to change it at that point, do you? Yeah. How about you, Emma? Anything? Um, mine would probably be, I would like look at it from like the same height and instead of like the bird's eye view, so I would forget to th that like I can see more of like the top than I thought I could. Did you ever feel like you were looking at it and then sort of stopped looking yes. at it and just started drawing? Yeah. Like kind of the impression <laughs> in your head yeah. rather than looking again? Yes. Yeah, that's easy to do. It's easy to kind of go, okay, I got it, and then do your interpretation of what you saw. And that's where you get off a lot of times. So here's what we're going to do. I want you guys to come around here. I'm going to start doing some sketching, a little art instruction, and then, uh, then we'll wrap up. But come back around over here as I start to draw. All right, so girls, this is what I wanted to show you was that now I'm going to have a different angle. So this is what my angle is. And so when I look at that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to always be, I'm going to try and be looking at it about as much as I look at my drawing. So if I'm jumping back and forth between my drawing and the, and what I see there, um, that helps me a lot to kind of start gauging where things are. So I want to go, here's the top of that creamer. Here's the top of the salt shaker. I'm kind of gauging the distance by looking at, the, at it and I'm just block, blocking in really uh, simple shapes that it's more uh, and, and trying to find the perspective. I'm thinking ellipses and now I'm kind of coming down into uh, this sort of milk carton kind of shape that it's got here and same here with the creamer is that it's got that little bit of a point. Notice I'm not erasing anything. I can do that later and now I want to go up to the widening part of the creamer and I'm really kind of trying to gauge now I'm jumping ahead, I'm jumping around, and why I'm doing that is I want to think of the whole shape. Now I'm actually in my head, I'm thinking through the shape. I'm thinking of this as being a perspective uh, plane. I'm just going to draw that whole perspective plane of like knowing that there's this, this dimension here. This is the wood table underneath actually. And if I can kind of think of it that way and kind of break it down into these, these shapes right and then knowing okay and then glancing back and forth and seeing okay is that line about that angle okay that feels about right this line is not straight of course but I'm just going to sketch it in and then you know how much of that do I see here you know negative space wise do I how much of that do I see and do I see uh, let me get rid of this do I see, how much of the handle do I see? Okay, there's a little bit of handle sticking out right here. I'm putting in the right spot and kind of figuring that out. And I can already tell, like, my creamer here, it needs to be a little bit wider. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably change that. I'll even come over here and get my eraser. So there, there are times that you want to erase. <laughs> That's nice of you to say. It's like you're a professional. <laughs> and hopefully I can do it kind of uh, quick enough that I can kind of show, give this instruction. Um, but there's this, you know, this little bit of taper in right here. And I want to make sure I get that in there. And then it goes real wide right here. Um, and I'm not, again... A lot of times when you go into art school and stuff, they, they want to tell you about the shading and things like that. And it's really important to get the drawing right before you put any shading in. And so I'm just doing really blocky shapes. Like this looks like an old time milk carton, like a glass milk carton. But I'm really trying to see, okay, am I the right height here? Um, and it looks, I feel like I have about the right height to each other. Um, and then and the right about the right shapes and even the, about the right perspective like if we're going to draw that through this is what i would see right is if it would be this sort of box shape that's right there um oops. but of course i don't see that but i want to be able to 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 see uh to to know it's there and so there's like a couple little circles that go around this and i want to make sure they feel like they're going around and that this is kind of curved at the top. 
it's uh, it's got this sort of curve here. So as I kind of start now, now that I have those simple shapes, I'm starting to kind of delineate some of these shapes just a little bit more, adding a little more details. And so I'm not going to go too much further than this, but hopefully that um, that little bit of instruction of, of like, okay, this is where, and I, even on the inside here, it's gonna, I'm gonna see a little bit darker here. If I were to add some shading, that's how it would go. Is I'd have a little bit, maybe a little bit darker down in here. And then same here, there'd be a little shadow here. And then, yeah, so instantly I start having uh, some, and it's all shape-based. And being able to judge the negative shape, that's all this area here, right? All that negative shape around the, fig, the, the thing. And then this, of course, would be all the positives. It's the inside shapes. And there we go. Okay. That's, so are you going to keep the table? Or do you not erase that? Oh, well, for this, for this just as instruction, yeah, I guess I would. But if this were a drawing, yeah, of course, I wouldn't have that in there. I'd have all this gone. I wouldn't, wouldn't have the, all these internal lines. I'd clean that up, right? Yeah. And so you could do that. You can clean that up, of course, because uh, those were just for me. Um, and that's a lot of times why I do, I sketch in like a light blue or a red, and then later on, I, uh, I clean up the drawing with my graphite. I do it a little bit darker. But all these, yeah, of course, would not be in there. Um, and I could get rid of that. That's a good question. Okay, but that helps me to know how to show that dimensionally. And so it's looking at positive and negative, judging the shapes, starting to think about perspective. And we'll get more into perspective probably later because that's a really hard concept. All right, so that was fun, guys. Yeah, uh, did was. you get something out of that? Yeah. yeah. That was quite a challenge. This was actually a really big challenge, I would say. So, all right, so next up is hopefully in the next episode, we'll talk about drawing faces. Oh. And we'll get into that. I think yeah. you're gonna enjoy that one. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited for that one. All right, so thanks for joining us. This has been Drawing with Tom Bancroft and... The Twins. <laughs>